Determine the present value P you must invest to have a future value A at simple interest rate R after time T. And yes, we're going to be using this formula. So let's write out our formula. A equals P times 1 plus RT. A is the amount that you want in the end. P is the principal you have right now, or the money you have right now. R is your rate, and that's always a percent. And then we have time, which is based on a year. So let's solve this one. First, I'm going to write my equation out again. We know A, so I'm going to put that in there. So we have 5,000 equals. We don't know P, so I'm going to leave P alone. 1 is part of the formula, so I'm going to leave it in there, plus R, which is 12.5%. Now we have to change that to a decimal. So we're going to move two places to the left. So we're going to end up with 0 0.125, and we're going to multiply by T. Now, we have 13 weeks. How many weeks are in a year? 52. So we're going to have 13 divided by 52. Now we're going to do what's in the parentheses first. This gives us 5,000 equals P times 1.03125. And I recommend not rounding till we get to the final answer. Well, we want to know what P is. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just divide 1.03125 on both sides. And let's see what our principal has to be. We are going to need $4,848. And then on my calculator, let me just write it here. 4848.48. And I have a line above it. That means it repeats itself. 4848. Now, if we're going to round it, we're going to round it to the nearest penny. So I look to the neighbor next door. Since it's four or smaller, I'm going to leave it alone. So we're going to have $4,848 and if I can squeeze it in here, 48 cents. Let's look at the next one. The principal P is borrowed and the loan's future value A at the time T is given. Determine the loan's simple interest rate R to the nearest tenth of a percent. Once again, we're going to write our formula. A equals P times 1 plus RT. Let's fill in what we know. We know A is $2,746.25. We know the principal is $2,600. One plus, we don't know the rate, but we know the time. And the time is nine months. Now well, that's based on a year, so we're going to do nine divided by 12. We're going to have 2,746.25 equals 2,600 times 1 plus 0 0.75 R. Now what we need to do is we need to do the distributive property. So we'll still have $2,746.25 on the left. 2,600 times 1 is 2,600 plus 2,600 times 0 0.75 is 1950R. We are now going to solve for R, so we have to do some algebra here. So we're going to subtract 2600, so we end up with $146.25 equals 1950R. We're going to divide by 1950. Alright, we can make a little thing here. R is going to equal 0. 075. Well, remember, we want this as a percent, not a decimal. So we're going to move two places to the right, and we end up with 7.5% is our rate. And that wasn't too bad, was it? Nah.